Hello, today I wanted to share a short video about um, an optimization that we've made recently to um, some aggregate window queries. Um, aggregate window is generally kind of a slower function when it's not pushed down. Um, this most commonly happens when there is a grouping operation before the aggregate window. Um, and in the past we've recommended people to put the aggregate window before the group and then to do a second aggregate window afterwards in order to help reduce the data. Um, but this doesn't really always work, especially if there's like a high cardinality. Um, so something that was recently done is that um, we are in the process of rolling out a change to aggregate window in order to make this specific function instead of uh, a collection of four different flux functions, um, two of which can end up be the window function itself, um, can be quite slow, especially with high cardinality and high ranges for time. Um, it, it's been changed to be a native Go, written in native Go for um, specific functions. Uh, at the current moment, this is only implemented for mean, sum, and count, although I would expect that first and last at min and max to be included in the future. Um, but without further ado, uh, this query right here is going to generate data. This is written in pure flux. I'm not using InfluxDB or IDPE for this. Um, this is going to generate um, a series of 50,000 points, each 10 seconds apart. Um, and then it is also going to have a cardinality of 50. Um, and I am going to group by T0 and then perform the aggregate window every five minutes. I'm using create empty false um, because one, it does help improve the speed. Um, create empty false probably should be the default, but it's not. Um, but this still performs fine with create empty true. Um, the main reason is because I haven't actually figured out how much data this is. And so I'm not really, I don't want to create a bunch of empty windows because I don't know what the range is supposed to be. So without further ado, um, I'm going to, and I'm also using um, debug.sync here to just kind of get rid of the data because we're more interested in the performance. So without further ado, uh, here first I'm going to run it without the feature flag. And you can say that this takes about half a second. Um, and this is with no like data transfer or any kind of things because it's just being generated. And then when I enable the feature flag, um, this performs much faster at um, 200 milliseconds instead of 500 milliseconds. Um, so we do see a dramatic improvement in the speed. And I'm hoping that this kind of change will make it more feasible to be able to do grouped windowed aggregates than it currently is. Um, thank you and uh, have a nice day.